Hi, I'm Aaron with Northwest RepRap, and I'm going to show you how to repair a J-Head hot end. This one was damaged from overheating. The brass nozzle actually separated from the peak nozzle holder. And this happened because the thermistor lost contact with the brass. Um, so this will need to be unscrewed, and if it's difficult to unscrew it, you can use a 13 millimeter open box end wrench, or two of them. And, um, or you could use like a crescent wrench or a pair of pliers if you don't have either of those. Now the threads will need to be uh, cleaned on here. These look pretty clean so I'm not too worried about them. But if you're meticulous and you want these to be really clean you can use a knife or maybe a flathead screwdriver to get in here and try to remove some, some of the debris. What you'll find on here will be um, maybe some, some plastic filament that leaked and got in the grooves, or you might also see some Teflon tape. Now, um, in this part, it's going to be a little tricky getting um, these parts out of here. The first thing you'll need to do is remove um, any filament that's in here. Now, I've found that um, a small Allen key will actually fit through the hole and will allow me to push the filament through. I believe this is 1.5 millimeter. It's the same key that I use for my pulleys, GT2 pulleys. Um, now inside of here there's also a sleeve of peak material and it has a small hole that the filament um, glides through. So just try to find that hole and put the Allen key in there. Then you can just push on a hard surface and that should pop the filament out. And also this little piece of PTFE. I'll try to separate that in a minute. This will allow me to remove the set screw at the top. Set that aside. And there's, there is the, um, the peak material on the inside. Now that's probably fused together, so I don't think I'll be able to remove it. But I'm just going to try real quick. I'll put an Allen key in there and push on it. But yeah, see, I think I've already dam I think I've already damaged it actually from trying to move it out. That's really fused in there. I can see some plastic wrapped around in there. I don't think I'll be able to get that out. So that's okay. I don't really need any of this. This is just trash now because I have a, a new peak nozzle holder. And I also have a new um, peak sleeve. Let me see if I can get this separated from here. Oh, that looks reusable. Okay. All right, so on here, on the brass nozzle, we need to reapply some uh, thread tape, PTFE thread tape. I usually like to um, set it on in this direction so that when it gets threaded on, it it's uh, going, the threads go with the wrap instead of against it. And just a few wraps is usually fine. All right. And then the peak nozzle holder can go on there. And then um, to tighten it up, use those open box end wrenches or crescent wrenches. I usually like to put it on tight enough that a little bit of plastic gets um, cut on the brass or, you know, it's pretty tight in that case. Okay, and then now with the, um, the peak sleeve that goes on the inside, the small, the small hole will go on, will go in this direction, go towards the brass nozzle, and the wider hole will be on the top end. And just slides in like that. And then the set screw goes in. Okay. 
with an Allen key. And I like to tighten this down so that it's about flush, but it, there also needs to be a little bit of pressure on there. So just kind of feel it and make sure that there's a little bit of pressure without warping it. And then um, this little bit of PTFE goes in the top. That just acts as a guide for the filament. And then reinsert the heater resistor and thermistor. And um, to help make sure that the thermistor doesn't fall out, it does help to put some tape around this or secure it um, in some fashion, maybe with a, a high temperature resistant um, adhesive, perhaps, or something of that nature. But um, this would be good to reuse. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for people.